For this project, you'll need a piece of drawing paper or your Lewis and Clark journal, a pencil with an eraser, and a black colored pencil. Today we're going to draw a sketch of Seaman, the trusty Newfoundland dog that traveled with Lewis and Clark. In this book I'm showing here, um, it's about Seaman's journal on the trail with Lewis and Clark by Patricia Reeder Eubank. It's a good book you might want to check out to learn more about these travels from the dog's point of view. And here's an excerpt. My name is Seaman. I'm a male dog from Pennsylvania and Meriwether Lewis paid $20 for me. I'm a Newfoundland. I have two coats of fur, a thick soft undercoat and a long silky outer coat, so I never get cold. I love water and have big furry webbed feet, which makes me an excellent swimmer. I weigh almost 150 pounds. We Newfoundlands love children and are loyal, are very loyal. I will protect my master with my life. Here is my story of the greatest adventure a dog ever had when traveling with Lewis and Clark all the way to the Pacific Ocean and back again. Lewis and Clark mention Seaman in several of their journal entries, one of which is as follows, titled Swimming Squirrels, by, written by Meriwether Lewis. It goes like this. Observed a number of squirrels swimming the Ohio and universally passing from west to the east shore. They appear to be making to the south. I should rather suppose that it is the climate which is their object, as walnuts and hickory nuts and usual food of the squirrels appears to be in great abundance on either side of the river. I make my dog take as many of these each day as I had occasion for. They were fat and I thought them, when fried, a pleasant food. My dog was of the Newfoundland breed, very active, strong, and docile. He would take the squirrel in the water, kill them, and swim, bring, bringing them back in his mouth to the boat. So you've learned a little bit about Seaman, the trusty dog for Lewis and Clark, and we're gonna draw a sketch of him in our, in our Lewis and Clark journals. So, um, you're going to start, I did my page landscape just so we can get a really big picture of his um, face and um, we're going to start in the center with just a curved line that is going to be the bridge of the kind of the start of his nose. And Newfoundlands are large dogs and so their nose is pretty prominent. So you're going to draw kind of that bridge of his nose and then a curved line to kind of connect the two. And then he's got um, kind of those nostrils, wool color and later darker. And I'm just doing this kind of as a sketch. Don't worry if you've got some lines that eventually you'll, you'll erase. And then his, um, most dogs have like a little bit of, you can see this line down the center and it's not very long which shows their mouth but because he's a Newfoundland we want this um, line that goes down past his nose to be a little bit longer than we normally would for for other breeds of dogs and he um, just has a small at the end of that you're gonna have kind of these curved lines going each direction that kind of show his um, mouth and then there's a section under here that's like so this is his kind of a snout the end of his um, snout and even I almost feel like I want to make that a little bit longer so make sure you kind of have this nose portion This little part that would be his kind of his mouth sketched in to make this kind of a nice long section. So once you have that, remember um, as you're watching this video, anytime you want to pause the video and take a little bit more time, um, go ahead and do that. And remember that we're sketching. This doesn't have to be this perfect sketch or drawing. We're just kind of learning um, some sketching techniques. Um, I'm not an expert at all. 
So try not to erase too much because you don't want your page to be too um, covered with erase marks and dark pencil marks. So just kind of do lightly sketches until then we're gonna cover um, color in with our colored pencil later. So the next thing we're gonna do is his eyes and you can kind of maybe sketch a little part where you think his eyes should go. If you can see where I did that. And then um, his eyes are, um, there's a line that kind of goes, um, like a curved line that goes, droops down a little bit to form his eye. And this might even be a little too big, but you get the idea and you can see it better. And I can make this a little, not quite so big. Okay. And then eventually we'll color this in a little darker because his eyes will kind of, they're really hard to see because they're, they're this dark black and their eyes are dark brown. So it's kind of hard within all their fur to see their eyes. All right, so once you do his eyes, I want you also to do um, just a little sketch line right below his eyes that is kind of, curved and it's basically starting to form part of his snout as well it's just a really light sketch line and that's all you need to do and then we'll have a little bit of um, sketches above his eyes too that you know dogs do have some eyelashes and kind of some darker fur sometimes which won't necessarily show greatly on him, but you'll still see how we'll color that in. And then you'll have some, you know, lines here between his brows that'll show the tufts of fur. So what we're going to do next is kind of do the basic outline of his head. And um, at the very top above where you've done the, done the nose, his head, you can have the, the hair on his, the top of his head kind of going straight up. And we're gonna kind of just sketch in the edge because it wouldn't be a straight line for his fur. It's very um, textured. It has all the different like, you know, fur showing. So we don't want to make it a straight line. So we're gonna go around. Um, it's probably about as wide as his eyes. And then we're gonna start kind of making the sketch marks, kind of go down the side of his head, and. Um, about even with his nose, I'm gonna kind of start that stop there and do the other side because that's about where his ears are gonna show. So now I have, um, and you want to make sure you're making as kind of a wide head. I might even need mine to be wider because he is a big guy. Okay. And now about um, maybe about even with his nose. Um, are where his eyes come. So you can kind of go out a little bit further on your sketch on the edge. And his ears definitely kind of come down below his mouth. And then you can kind of sketch in where those ears would be. So again, on this side, I'm gonna go out a little bit wider, a little bit below his, and there's kind of a part where his ear almost comes to a point. And remember, I'm just sketching in the outline. And we'll color this in so it doesn't look, you don't want him to look cross-eyed. All right. And there might be some other fur lines here on the side. And then they're going to come down. And he does have kind of a wide body, so they're going to come down and make just to the edge of your paper. So you might not have a ton of space here. We'll see if that looks. <laughs> and then he has fur marks here. Okay. So that's kind of your basic sketch of semen. And 
once you're happy with your sketch, and it doesn't have to be more filled in than what I have here, you're gonna take your black, um, black color pencil, and I would recommend a color pencil if you can find one. If you have gray, you could do that. Um, but if you have a black one, great. If you don't, you could use crayon. Um, you might um, want to peel off part of the crayon so you've got kind of a sharp edge, you know, on the end of the crayon. Because what we want to do is um, we're going to cover, let's start with his nose. We're going to outline kind of what we have. And don't worry, your, your color pencil lines can still be sketch marks. But, um, you can practice doing shades of black, which seems crazy to say, but you can color in his nose and you can make it fairly dark overall, because it would be, it's kind of like the darkest part of him and shiny, you know his nose would be kind of shiny. And then what you can also do is then those parts that were kind of his nostrils, you can even color in over it to make it even darker. You can kind of see how mine looks a little darker even. So that's what I mean with kind of shades of, of black. You can have this part that you want to really make dark over again. So again, you can use kind of that sketching technique as you're drawing over your pencil marks again this is just like a sketch we would have done in our field notebook and so you can just kind of go over those lines with your um, this could be all colored in if you want it's not necessarily his tongue right here it's just part of his mouth so I could do that dark as well and then his eyes would have been also fairly dark all the way through They're really hard to see. <laughs> they're they're um, kind of their pupils on um, Newfoundlands. And then you can go over the pupil just to make it slightly darker. I think you can see that. I don't know if you've ever, I'm gonna do the other eye. If you've ever been around Newfoundland, we have good friends that have always had Newfoundlands one at a time, <laughs> but they are the sweetest dogs. They are very big and they are very slobbery, but they are very sweet. So nothing to be afraid of. They're very smart dogs and very caring. They love their people. Okay. So um, you can kind of see how even though I'm doing black to go over my sketch marks, you can see how some of my areas are turning out a little darker. So some of these lines for his um, muzzle, I want to keep kind of sketchy, just kind of going over them so they're still kind of gray. And then other lines you might want to highlight. So, um, you know, I can make some light and some dark as I kind of go over these and then some if you don't like where they are you can not highlight them and erase them but I'm basically going over the edges to create my outline and then you can color in and that looks a little bit more realistic if you make some darker than others isn't your thing and this seems hard just know that I've practiced several times before I felt good about doing this for you so you can practice a few more times if you want to keep working on um, <laughs> semen I've seen pictures of him as a puppy 
direction. So that's kind of the basic outline of, my, of him. And now what you can do is take your color pencil and on the side, you can start to shade him in. And I really do think you could leave him as a sketch like that, that's fine. Um, but if I sketch over, I'm gonna try to go as much to the same direction as I can. My lines are still gonna show up, those sketch marks I put in there. Okay, and you can make that part as dark as you want. You kinda have to turn your um, color pencil because it's gonna get dull on one side. You might have to go back and sharpen it, but you get the idea. Sketching in. I think that shows that he's a really dark black dog. Um, you can choose to make him even darker than I'm doing. That's great too. You might have to go back over some of your sketch marks and make them a little darker like that, which is fine. Just trying to get some color down. Like this line looks like it's fading in a little bit more, so maybe I wanna highlight that again. So spend some time filling him in. Because I think, um, I've always thought he was such an interesting part of the Lewis and Clark expedition and how helpful it was for him to be part of it as you've learned. And I encourage you to get the book about his journey I think, seem, you know, from his perspective, the author wrote it from the dog's perspective. I think that's really cool. So maybe you can find that at the library tomorrow and read more about this amazing dog. Okay, so I, again, some of these lines, I might go back in and darken them up a bit. But that's basically our sketch of Lewis and Clark's Expedition Dog Seaman. Thanks for joining me. Mm -hmm.